Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Wednesday morning video. Uh, to start, you know, I really just want to preface this video title by saying just basically insane day. I really couldn't think of anything else. Uh, it was really a day that caught me off guard and this is just a great example of why as a long-term investor, you always want to, you know, be in the market and stay, can, you know, at least consistently average in the hard cost average if you're down because days like this happen and they happen quick. And there really wasn't any like crazy notable news today. Um, you could say maybe that like the Russia Ukraine talks have been going well, but I mean, they've been saying that they've been making progress for the past two, three weeks, well, probably two weeks at this point. So like that headline isn't even really that big of a deal because they've been really saying it for the past two weeks. So we just have to remember that kind of stuff. And like, this is like a perfect example why you don't really go in and out of the market because if you miss a couple of these days a year and then you FOMO buy back in and you miss these opportunities that happen in a day, your your gains are so minimal and you wind up getting so frustrated being getting in and out, in and out, um, you wind up giving up and uh, just getting a really bitter taste in your mouth about the market and say it's a scam, it doesn't work, you know, basically the whole nine. So I just wanted to go over a handful of stocks that I currently own that had really, really, really big days uh, oh, big day yesterday. So I'm going to start with a, a firm. This is a company once, uh, you know, their earnings came out and uh, the, the stock basically went from, I'm going to actually pull it up real quick. Um, I'll tell you when I started to enter. So this was always on my watch list. Uh, right when they struck that deal with Amazon in the fall, I felt like I missed the buying opportunity. So it was sitting around, you know, $60, $75. And then when that Amazon news struck, uh, a lot of volume came into the stock. Uh, it ran up to basically 165 ish. So at that point, I you know I really thought I missed the boat. I'm like I'm not you know buying this. So, you know it's going to the moon. I I was really frustrated. Um, I did tell myself if it went around like 110, 105, there's a nice TA line there, and that's when I actually started buying. And now you know it went as low as under 30 dollars at one point a couple weeks ago. So I was dollar dollar cost averaging in from 105 down, 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 down. And you know, you know, if you buy at 100, you know, most people, if they see it go to 75, 60, 50, at some point, they're just gonna say, you know what? I made the wrong play. I give up on this stock, um, you know, and that's really the wrong approach. I wasn't making videos as I bought this stock, but I did actually buy it on March 14th, which was like the rock bottom at like super low 40s. Um, so today, yeah, it had a 10.9% move up. So it's great, and, and, and it's still really stuck at the bottom um, as far as the grand scheme of things. I think a lot of people are, um, you know, nervous that, uh, you know, people people don't think people are, like, lending's gonna get more expensive, and they don't think people are gonna spend, but, you know, my theory is in this is that it's a great company, it's got a, you know, a good balance sheet, it's teaming up with the right players like Amazon, and, they're going to make it through it no matter what recession, no recession, um, high interest rates, low interest rates. I think at, at the valuations at currently, it's it's literally a steal. I thought at one hundred and five dollars it was a steal, so I, I will continue to buy even though it went up ten point nine percent today. Um, love this stock long term, so that's one I've been actively new position I've been buying. Uh, Corsair Gaming is my second biggest position behind uh, Tesla. I made a video about that yesterday. Tesla ran ran like crazy yesterday. It's a large cap. Obviously, it really didn't move much today, which is crazy. So a lot of small caps were moving to, uh, yesterday. So yeah, Corsair moved 4.5%. You know, so Tesla is my biggest holding, rallied the day prior. And then Corsair is my second biggest position, rallied today. So I've had a really great two days, to be honest. Um, CRISPR Therapeutics. Uh, I wanted to get into, you know, something in this industry. This is one that's a little above my head and, I, and I'm not, I don't have a huge position in it. But I do believe in this business and the future is going to revolve around these kind of uh, these kind of companies. So this is like kind of like a, I don't want to say it was a yellow buy, but I felt really good about it. I bought it at the rock bottom in uh, February and March. Uh, it had a 5% move today. I'm already up in this position. Um, I will dollar cost average down if it moves every 5% down, but I'm currently up in the position. I think I bought around like $61 or $60. So... If it goes to 55 a dollar cost average, it's just, it's just something I need to do, like, you know, I wouldn't recommend anyone's buying it. I wouldn't like tell someone, hey, you need to buy CRISPR therapeutics, but I think it's gonna be a really big thing in the future for like genes and DNA and stuff. I, I'm just really bullish about that industry. I just wanted to be involved in it, basically. Uh, Honest Company, I've been in this guy for a while too. 
Um, it's a needs-based product. This is when I really felt like a recession was gonna hit. Uh, it's a small cap, super beat down. Management team's great. It's in like Wegmans and a lot of big box stores like Target and stuff like that. You know, even if a recession does hit, a lot of people had kids during COVID because they were stuck in their house. And, and, and I think people are sleeping on that. And there's gonna be a real nice uh, play for uh, like uh, diapers and uh, products and stuff like that. Their earnings was a little rough. Uh, recently that came out, they, uh, their, their hand sanitizer business was, um, you know, dropped like 60%. And it's kind of expected because like with, you know, with the virus and with everything like that, people were buying sanitizer, like it was sold out everywhere. So like, even if you didn't have the best product, yours, yours was the most expensive. That's all gone now because people are unfortunately not buying as much hand sanitizer and maybe they ramped up demand to keep up a supply that is now gone. So that put a damper in the stock, but if you really think about it, their, their uh, wipes and diapers are really their main focus and um, they're getting into like the, um, uh, the, the makeup side too, I believe. So they're working with Ultra, which is like the premium, well, a big box company that they're gonna now start distributing their product in it. So that that could be really good. Um, I was even thinking about that, but uh, you know, I'm not too choked up on it long-term. It had a 7.1% rally after that nasty sell-off from earnings. So awesome. Uh, Robinhood, so every year, what I like doing is, I love doing, like last year I did Nordstrom's. I made, I think, 100 and, 80% or 200% in a three, four month period. Don't expect that to happen every year. I really was going for like, you know, a 20, 20 to 40% ROI when, when I bought in, but it just happened to be a lot better than what I thought. So I do one a year. Uh, it's it's just something I like doing, not a big position, you know, a smaller one of the all the positions I hold, but Robinhood was one that I really thought was gonna turn around. I mean, it got destroyed. ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, they were buying it at like 50, 40, $60 in, in the in, in the fall and when I saw it drop into the teens I'm like man like I you know even if it gets to a quarter to where it was at all-time highs I'm gonna 2x my money at this point so I actually started a position in the low teens I think it was like $14 I started my position so um, I think I'm already up on it today which is great but it had a 26 move 26 percent move today um, let me see where it is at today Yep, so it's already at 16, 14. So I'm already up on that position. I don't, I'm not gonna add any more, but like I said, it was just a big opportunity I saw. I think now that money's flowing back into the market, obviously I think retail investors, especially when they hear the hype, see the news, you know, one person's like, oh my God, I made so much money today. Maybe someone that stayed in. Uh, people are gonna start firing up the Robinhood accounts again and start doing, you know, the meme, the meme movement and stuff like that. Um, if you look at GMC and GameStop recently, I mean, they had crazy moves today too. I don't play them. But uh, you know that just gives you a sign that people are willing to put money back in the market, or maybe rotate in from large caps to small, or maybe feel they're sitting on the sidelines, or you know whatever. Money's coming back into these small caps at this point. Is basically what I'm saying. So that's great. Robinhood, love it. Uh, yes, I'm already up on my position. My exit point, you know, just just being a turnaround play. This is like not long term investing. So this is one thing I really don't preach, but. My exit point's gonna be like $30 plus. We'll see how fast it runs. So that's a quick 2X of my money and then I'm gonna get out, short-term gain it and move on. Matterport, uh, love this company. Uh, I really believe in the metaverse long-term. Uh, it's gonna be a big player with Facebook and other metaverse companies in my opinion. 14.5% uh, gain today. Don't really talk about this so much. This was kind of when I really started buying heavy in the, in the winter when I wasn't really making videos. Um, space, I've been in the stock since 2019. Uh, I, am, I am down on this one, but it had a really nice move back, 12.4% uh, today. You know, it's one I'm real, this is like a decade out, multi-decade out uh, hold. Uh, space, j just basically going to space and all the stuff in general got, you know, the, the, the launches got delayed and projects got pushed back. I think, I don't recall because I listened to it last fall, but I think it was pushed back like a whole year. So that really made people leave the space, but you never know because, you know, you could have multiple days like this and it could pop like that. And, you know, I just want to be in it. So this is a super long hold, very small position of mine, smallest probably of all these. But I just like having some sort of um, kind of like CRISPR. I just want to have some sort of, uh, you know, some kind of money in the in these industries. Um, so my thoughts on basically where the market is right now, I could see it rallying. This would be the third week in a row that we finished green for the week. I could see it being a green week again for three weeks in a row. Uh, I could also see people take profits and pull back because usually we need these big crazy days. 
the next, like today, might be, you know, a pullback a little bit. And we'll see what the market wants to do and how they want to handle it. Uh, I am 10% cash still. So I haven't bought since uh, March 14th. So I said that yesterday. And I don't really, you know, just because I'm kind of low on cash right now, uh, I do get actually a pretty big paycheck this week. So uh, we'll see. You know, I, you know some, some of these are still really good. Like Affirm's still a deal. Corsair's still a deal. Honest is still a deal. Robinhood's still a deal in my opinion. Uh, Matterport, I mean, all these are really great deals still. So like, you, I mean, if you don't own a position or you think about one, like obviously if you buy right now, you, you know, long term, you're, you're gonna win, um, you know. But I feel real good about this market. Um, obviously we could have U-turns depending on what the Fed says or you know, what goes on with Russia and Ukraine. Um, maybe China, Taiwan, I doubt anything's gonna happen, but you never know. So you just gotta be prepared and that's why it's always important to have, uh, you know, cash on hand because then it puts you in a position of power. So really good day yesterday, um, a lot of, big gains for some of my stocks. I Like like I said, I don't really share many of these stocks, uh, but I'm just getting back in the swing of things again. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, you know some of my positions and my gains. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I'm gonna try to post these guys daily again. Uh, till tomorrow, peace.